Hi there, Halu here. April 22nd, 2024. We started our last day in Vegas at Springs Preserve, a 180-acre haven for those who love nature walks, botanical gardens, and museums. If I had something like this near me, I would be here every week. The main attraction we were there to see was the butterfly exhibit, which housed a variety of butterfly species. The coolest one for me was this beautiful white one. I actually really liked this big blue one, but it was so fast I couldn't get any footage of it. Show me. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Another part of Springs Preserve was this flood simulator my nephew wanted to check out. It sort of reminded me of the Universal Backlot Tour. You know, where Frankie Muniz gets chased down in Big Fat Liar? Before we hit the road for home, we made a stop at the Wind Buffet. Look off into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd the binoculars come from? You gotta look off like when I was in the window. <laughs> Round one. Okay. Round one. I think we spent like two hours here, slowly appreciating the moment and taking pleasure in the gourmet eats. Can't wait to f up another buffet with my girl again soon. April 23rd, 2024. I took the day off to spend time with my girlfriend before she departs on her way home. We finally visited the Haruke Cafe, something she's been wanting to check out ever since they opened. Fun fact, when we were still in the talking phase, she mentioned that she thought their cakes were cute, which gave me the idea to get her a cake when asking her to be my girlfriend. We ordered two cups of susu latte and a mugwort cake. I'm not a fan of sweets, but every taste while sipping this throughout our day was so delicious. Next, we were off to Erewhon. I used to work at a fancy grocery store, so I've been desensitized to these bougie markets, but my girlfriend loves Erewhon. I guess it's pretty nice, but I can't justify spending $18 on a smoothie every day. After that, we spent some time at home and then she was off to catch her flight. I couldn't find her after she went up the staircase, but she found me walking away. Then I returned home and ate dinner alone. April 24th, 2024. So starting from this point on is when I really started vlogging the least. As mentioned before, I'm going to be slowing down on vlogging every day and only vlogging important moments of my day or that that I find interesting. I didn't bring lunch to work, so my coworker and I got pho again. Then once I got home, my mom cooked up a pot of bunryu. She really makes the best bunryu. No Vietnamese restaurant can top it. April 25th, 2024. Here was my lunch and also more bun reel for dinner. April 26, 2024. I figured I would vlog my workout routine for the day, but I find it loserish to kind of record myself working out. It's not like I'm trying to showcase my muscle growth or show that I work out or anything. I probably won't make an effort to do it again. Then here's what I ate for lunch and what I had for dinner. April 27th, 2024. There's some chirping going on outside my front door, so I went to investigate, and it was a family of baby birds. They eventually learned to fly and went off into the world on their own. At work, my coworker got me another Egg Big Muff. Once again, yeet the bread. My lunch was just some air fried kitchen, plain and simple. And for dinner, my mom made some pork chop to eat with lettuce. Hello, good afternoon. Today is April 28th, Sunday, and just a little bit before noon. I haven't done this in a while, and uh, as I mentioned in my previous clips, that uh, yeah, I just want to sort of space things out from now on because it does get redundant, it does get old and boring if I just keep 
talking about my day every single day when nothing new changes and when I'm just going to work and I'm just doing my routine. Nothing is not there's nothing new about it, right? It's just like an everyday thing. Um, I showcase what I eat. I talk about how work is chill. Like work's always gonna be chill, or work's always gonna be just a little bit like busy. But otherwise, like nothing is too new. Um, so. As of lately, I've only just been recording like what I eat because I guess that's one of the more interesting things about my day is eating something different every day. Generally, I eat pretty good food because my mom cooks or I like to eat good food. Speaking of good food, I am on my way to my co-worker's birthday celebration at Chubby Cattle in Roland Heights. We are going to eat Chubby Cattle. <laughs> Um, I haven't been there before. I heard it's pretty good. I know it's very expensive um, But hopefully it is uh, as good as Mr. Barbecue because when we were in Vegas and we had Mr. Barbecue and we ate a ton We didn't even feel bad afterwards or groggy or heavy or Honestly full. Um, it was the perfect amount. It didn't make us feel like crap afterwards, right? so um, I'm hoping it's because it's quality meat and because it's quality meat uh, That means that we won't be feeling the itis if you've ever seen boondocks Mommy, I'm sleepy. Oh, don't worry about that little baby. That's just the itis The what? The itis. That's what you call it when you get sleepy after a big meal uh, Food coma So that is where I am headed right now uh, went to the gym this morning, woke up about 9 o'clock-ish, a little bit afterwards, and um, yeah, decided to go to the gym, spent probably just like an hour there, uh, got in a quick 30-minute cardio session, lifted some uh, weights, uh, did some bicep curls, and then went home and showered and got ready to head out. Um, but yeah, nothing has been too different as of lately. Um, my girlfriend just left, so I'm trying to get back into my routine. Yes, I think this time around her visit was a lot more fun. I don't know if it's because we did a lot of things that I enjoy, which is like go to music festivals and, um, you know, just go eat a bunch of nice fine dining restaurants. That is what I like to do, that is what I enjoy. Um, but I had a great time. Uh, this visit of hers. Yeah, I'm just excited to be planning my next trip with her. Hopefully that'll be going to Japan sometime in July. Also, because I messed up and didn't go see Justice at Coachella, we are planning to go to London for a one-day festival called Field Day. Um, they are headlining the event and I love London. London is like a second home to me. I have family there. Um, so. I bought tickets to that, but we'll see if I actually make it there, uh, depending on what happens in the next three months or so. But yeah, getting back to my routine wasn't too bad. The day after she left, I got up at five. I've been um, going to the gym. Uh, lately, I have these past couple of uh, morning sessions I've been dedicating to my other employment, um, and that's just because on Monday, I decided to spend the day with my girlfriend before she left. Um, and so we were coming back from Vegas that day, we got back pretty late, and I was just not really in the mood to do any work. Maybe a little bit after eating today, I'll work on that a little bit because I have a lot to catch up on. Um, then hopefully sometime next week I can get back to my standard um, uh, sessions of just like editing the vlogs, which I am probably like two months behind now, and I don't really care anymore. I mean, really watches it. This is only for my own like sort of recap of my life. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like pretty happy. I'm feeling pretty excited about how the year is going. Um, and I'm not too concerned about my like financial state anymore. Um, I am spending a lot of money and I did spend a lot of money this April. But you know, I mean money is made to be spent and if you can save something that's great. But I think we should really live in the moment and just kind of like do what we can to enjoy ourselves while still saving and being frugal. I, I definitely um, am pretty adamant in like saving money, but you know, there's just some things that you gotta like dish out some cash for, and it just 
happens to be expensive sometimes. And you know what? At the end of the day, I think it's worth it. Um, I think you can even hear it in my tone that I'm like, okay with it. Life has been pretty good. Um, looking forward to the next couple of months. Looking forward to today. And yeah, I'm just going to be heading to my co-workers, a birthday gathering. Hopefully everybody gets there in time because there's already a crowd at Chimikin. So we'll make our way to the restaurant and see how this meat tastes. That's what he said. I wasn't too excited about trying it for the first time, but after I had my first taste of meat, I instantaneously became a fan of this establishment. Not only can you choose from the assorted menu of meats, but they also have a bunch of appetizers, tapas, and sushi that you can also get. Did I mention there was also all you can drink milk tea? My stomach was so big after drinking three or four full cups of milk tea and it's actually good. After that, we went to walk it off at Frankensons. I remember as a kid, my oldest cousin would take me here to purchase RC cars that charged on the controller itself. But this warehouse developed into an overstimulation of culture. They had everything from anime to comics, K-pop, video games, toys, and more. I really appreciated the artists that sold their own things, especially this artist who turned everything into horror. That's it for my last week of April. Thanks for watching till the end, and I appreciate you. Hollow at you later.